As much as I love a grilled steak seared on my Weber's, sometimes the best meals take place above the grates. Sure, it may be tempting to pick up a store-bought rotisserie chicken. They smell good, they look pretty good, but for a little extra time, you can have a great rotisserie chicken in your own backyard, even on a weeknight. Here's how I get it all together. Whether using a rotisserie over charcoal or gas, the procedure is basically the same. Before firing up the grill, I set up my spit. I want my chicken in the center of the grill. To ensure this, I place the empty spit in place with one fork on the far end. I then move the fork to mark one side as a reference for mounting the chicken. With the spit ready, it's time to fire up the grill. Rotisserie chicken uses indirect cooking. In other words, the fire is kept at the sides of the meat. On the summit, I use the two outside burners. On the kettle, I push charcoal to only one side of the grill. Whichever way you go, be sure to use a drip pan. A chicken cooking on the rotisserie will drop a lot of grease. It's important to catch that grease in the pan so as to not gum up the inside of your grill, and more importantly, not create flare-ups. For heat, shoot for medium, roughly 350 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Prepping the chicken is straightforward. Take a fresh chicken, about four to five pounds. You're gonna cut off the wing tips and any excess of fat. Before mounting the bird on the rotisserie, I like to truss it. Now, trussing the bird keeps the meat together, promotes even cooking, and creates a killer presentation when cooked. There are a number of different ways to truss a chicken. Here's what works best for me. Use what works best for you. Take the butcher twine, put a loop in the middle of it. Wrap the legs together, then bring the twine towards the neck of the chicken. keeping the wings pinned against the body. Tie it off, keeping the twine as tight as possible. Next, mount the chicken on the spit. Place the spit through the bottom of the chicken cavity and onto the fork we already placed. Take another fork and slide it from the opposite direction. The fork should hold the chicken firm so that once the chicken starts spinning, it stays in place. When it comes to seasoning a rotisserie chicken, I always wait until the bird is placed on the spit. It makes things a lot easier. Let me show you how. Place the spit over a large bowl or even your kitchen sink. Brush the chicken with olive oil and then cover with your favorite rub. Rotate the spit as you work the ingredients onto the chicken. Although you could leave the chicken on the countertop, the bowl makes it a much easier process to manage. With the grill to temperature, it's time to mount the spit. Put the pointed end into the rotisserie motor and place the spit across the grill. Start the motor up and lower the hood. If your rotisserie spit has a counterweight, allow the chicken to rest on the spit in place without inserting the rod into the rotisserie motor. The heaviest part of the bird will rotate to the bottom. Place the counterweight in the opposite direction. This helps to balance out the chicken, putting less stress on the rotisserie motor. Depending on size, these chickens will cook anywhere from an hour and 15 to an hour and 30 minutes. During the last 10 minutes, open the hood and check the internal temperature of the chicken. You want 165 degrees Fahrenheit on an instant read thermometer. Check between the thigh and the leg. With the chicken done, it's time to get it off the grill. Remember now, the spit is hot, so wear a pair of grill gloves to protect yourself. Stop the motor and remove the spit. With the chicken on a sturdy surface, use either a gloved hand or a pair of tongs to loosen the fork screw. Slide off the fork, then slide off the chicken. For safety, I like to return the spit to the grill to allow it to cool. There you have it, rotisserie chicken. I guarantee after you grill your own, you'll never give one of those store rotisserie chickens a second look. And don't forget, rotisseries aren't just for chickens.
planning your next grilled meal, consider giving it a spin.